I love local content. I love to see Africans doing their stuff and actually being proud of it. One of such guys is one of the people I've been trying to look for to interview on my podcast. His name is Lukman Ali. This morning I woke up to his social media page showing that his first ever, I mean, Ugandan film on Netflix called, I think, Girl in a Yellow Jumper, something like that. And he was so excited about it and, uh, you know, he's telling people how it's going on Netflix on the 25th or 26th, I think, 26th of uh, December 2021. But then someone in Uganda, (laughs) someone in Uganda bashes this guy. Imagine that milestone and then someone bashes you, right? And what Lukman Ali did was something that we all should do. He learned, I mean, he le- he's learned to have this serious degree of emotional intelligence that he was able to handle the situation very beautifully. But you know, when something of that nature happens, you can easily get discouraged. And that's what I want us to talk about, even as we have started these episodes, this series, yesterday, talking about discouragement and how we can deal with discouragement in our lives. It is a real thing, and I want us to spend some time today just uh, looking at uh, discouragement as a topic, and then maybe later on in the series we can start talking about the ways we can overcome discouragement even in our pursuit of purpose, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. For as long as you are a human being, You cannot escape being discouraged. Well, I'm not saying that, you know, discouragement is something that we should look forward to. I'm just saying that as long as we are human, that's the way it is. That's just, it is what it is. Doesn't matter where you are coming from, high bone, low bone. Doesn't matter whether yellow, red, white, black, purple, whatever. Doesn't matter whether you're male or female, doesn't matter whether you have a job or you don't have a job, doesn't matter if you have a wife or you don't, it doesn't matter if you have a kid or you don't have a kid, as long as you're a human being, at one point in time in your life, you're going to be discouraged. For the most part, the guys who get discouraged are the guys who are passionate about something, and that's the kind of guys that I want to talk about, I want to talk to and I address. You have sunk your teeth of passion into something, and sooner or later, you get discouraged either internally because you don't see the success that you're looking for. Maybe you are impatient. Or if it's not an internal thing that comes up to, to create for, to create, to bring discouragement, it's something external. People, events. COVID comes in and you just set up a business in the events arena. You just registered your company and you've ordered equipment and it's come all the way from China and India and so on and so forth and COVID hits. The whole world goes into a lockdown. You get discouraged. You raise money as an organization because of people's voluntary contributions. But they can't because of COVID. You get discouraged. You see, at the end of the day, 
we need to know how we can handle and be resilient when moments of discouragement come our way as individuals as organizations as a human race it's a mental game at the end of the day when push comes to shove you notice that it is a mental game you notice that the guys who don't get i mean the guys who don't overcome discouragement they stick a long time in the discouragement in their minds they are holding on to what could have been holding on to what was refusing maybe going into denial that the reality on the ground has changed and it's a discouraging thing and sometimes you get so discouraged that you just leave whatever it is that you wanted to do altogether it's a book i was writing and uh, i was stupid anyway it's a book i was writing and uh, the book was raising the in, inner game of your child very beautiful book over 100,000 words i never backed it up so one day um somewhere and uh, i've parked the car and someone steals the laptop i would have wished they could just mail me that manuscript and just go away with the laptop anyway because to me the manuscript is much more valuable than the laptop I got discouraged so much so that even today when I think about that project I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Where do you get 100,000 words that you've worked on for years on end? Just gone just like that. And I got discouraged and I've never gone back to that project. Maybe I will at some point in time. But such situations are so many and especially for the people who have dared to do something meaningful something that matters to their hearts but notice that the common denominator in all these aspects is the voice of the mind or the voice your voice in the mind discouragement is sealed when we mentally agree and assent to the impossibility brought about by a perceived reality or a circumstance that has created a perceived reality on the ground maybe the reality is real or maybe the interpretation of the reality creates the impossibility for example you get heartbroken and that's a reality but then you get so discouraged that the illusion is created that you can never ever be in love again and so what do you do your discouragement helps you to form an opinion against relationships discouragement is sealed when we mentally assent to the impossibility brought about by what we perceive as the reality on the ground now whether or not the impossibility is real the mental assent is quitting it hammers the last blow and makes discouragement to reign supreme in our minds and in our lives and just like myself the project the pursuit the purpose or the thing that you are doing that you got discouraged is facing death therefore discouragement is a very very big tool of darkness if i can use that word it's a very big arsenal that can it's a it's a merchant of death actually not just death physically but death of projects death of relationships death of organizations death of pursuits of purpose death of passion it is brought about by discouragement and we need to address this at times we might not know how close we are to a breakthrough we might not even know maybe due to familiarity how much progress we have made since the first day we started on that particular project just the fact that we are not seeing the desired impact and results we want to give up altogether but we are just about to get there and therefore death reigns supreme because discouragement has brought it it is the same reason why very many people do not take up some ventures because they cannot trace again the monetary 
benefits that are coming out of it of the ventures directly at some point in time we want a direction connected between our action and our profits and if that is not there in the immediate or in the medium term we get discouraged and we quit the same mentality will make us quit when we see no results added to our daily efforts i want us to consider that discouragement is a merchant of death and we need to know how we can handle that discouragement in our lives you have no idea what things we are killing relationships are being killed because of discouragement ventures are being killed because of discouragement people's destinies are being robbed of them because of discouragement and one thing that we need to know is discouragement could either be real or it could be an illusion so we need to learn how to handle it and i'm just going to start dealing with some of the ways we can handle this i'm not in any way a psychologist psychiatrist i have not been trained formally in those departments but i do know what discouragement looks like and i do know some of the things that i've been able to do in the past to overcome discouragement so i'm going to share those with you in the succeeding episodes so until tomorrow bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.